Okay, so I have to go. I had to go and look on Twitter the other day, and well, Ninja had this conspiracy or uh, something controversial, I should say, about well, a video game is not just a game, which he kind of said, Matt, and, uh, I don't know what to think, but I am, like, kind of surprised, and also disappointing at Ninja at the same time. So, uh, let me read you this, uh, tweet that I found from him here. The phase it's just a game is such a weak mindset. You are okay with what happened, losing in perfection of craft. When you stop getting angry after losing, you lost twice. There's always something to learn and always room for improvement. Never settle. If anyone ever uses the excuse, it's just a game, I'm going to lose my mind. Imagine telling LeBron James, Tom Brady, that when, that they're, when, they're, when they're pissed off after losing a game, that it's just a game. Like, I'm going to lose, like, are you kidding me? You're so stupid. It's, about, it's the competitive nature, bro. It's about respect, bro. It's about pride. It's so much bigger than a video game. And anyone that ever uses the excuse it's just a game is a horrible human being. It is lazy. You're a lazy human being. Alright, so now I'm going to go piece by piece and explain my thoughts about Tyler and why he said it in the worst way possible. If anyone ever uses the excuse, it's just a game, I'm going to lose my mind. Imagine telling LeBron James... Tom Brady, that when that they're when they're when they're pissed off after losing a game, that it's just a game. Like I'm gonna lose. Like, are you kidding me? You're so stupid. Yeah, first of all, Tyler, don't compare Tom Brady or any other great sports player on earth to a video game because one Fortnite is just a game it is just a video game and two nobody is stupid because they know it's true it's been like that for years even i know that it's about it's the competitive nature bro it's about respect bro it's about pride true but not everybody is competitive you're forgetting the whole point about a video game we're supposed to be having fun when we play a video game, not, like, worry like it's your actual job to beat a player because you do it competitively. No. That's not how video games work. It's so much bigger than a video game. And anyone that ever uses the excuse it's just a game is a horrible human being. And is lazy. You're a lazy human being. Now, hold on a second there. Nobody is a horrible, lazy human being. Because when it comes to playing a video game these days, and still happens to this day at least, people still have fun playing a video game. They don't necessarily do it competitively. Not everyone is made to be competitive in a video game. Such as, well, if you go to an esports organization named Face Clan, well, you become a content creator for Face Clan and you don't have to be competitive at it. You don't have to be competitive at a video game. Same thing if you were in 
luminosity gaming. You don't have to be competitive. You can be a content creator and you don't have to be a competitive luminosity esports player. I know that there are some of them out there who are content creators and they, and they don't have to be competitive to play Fortnite. They can just play Fortnite for fun. Just like when I can play Need for Speed No Limits for fun. I don't have to, oh, play competitively. No, that's not how video games work. You're forgetting the whole point, Ninja. You're forgetting the whole point of what to do in a video game. Have fun. Don't take it seriously. And enjoy it. And that's, and that's how we play video games these days. I mean, come on. Video games are not really made to be competitive in the first place. I mean, sure, we now have uh, an esports tournament, which makes video games even much more respectable to play in the uh, gaming franchise. Franchise, but video games back then, even now, were only made for fun. And if you cannot have fun, then what good are you? How are you gonna know how to uh, take defeat? How are you gonna, like, know when to have good sportsmanship? Have you forgotten about that, Tyler? Ninja Blevins? Have you forgotten about that? Because clearly you did. You made a tweet about it and you announced it in a live stream about it. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Why would you even say these things and not understand what good sportsmanship means? Come on. At least everybody knows that. I mean, come on. If you ran the 123rd or 124th or 125th of the Boston Marathon, do you do it for fun or do you do it competitively? Because for some people, if they're really athletic, yeah, then yes, I guess you can do it competitively, but if you're only just doing it for fun and if it's for a charitable organization, then uh, you do it, then you just do it for fun. You don't have to be a competitive freak and beat everyone's ass in the Boston Marathon. Even though a trophy is nice, the only thing that's nicer is participation. Participation is kind of like one of the most important things of all. And that's part of the, of the reason why people participate when they come to play a video game. I mean, just because they like to win, doesn't mean they always have to. I mean, everyone is a good sport when when they lose, because not everything is about winning. I mean, unless you're like Trump, and you say that winning is everything, well, good luck at that, because that's not how it works. I mean, come on. I was taught that winning isn't everything. I mean, I was disappointed once. But I need, I immediately came to my senses. And 
understand that being a good sport is better being a uh, winner because, well, you still have fun and you enjoy the games that you loved to play. You don't have to love the video games you, you play to be competitive at it. I mean, come on. I know people like to challenge themselves, which is why they always want to be competitive, but humans weren't originally made to be competitive in the first place. Humans were made to have fun. Have fun. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. Have fun. Nothing else, nothing more. Just have fun. You don't need an advice from a stupid gamer such as Ninja to give out a ridiculous statement that you have to be competitive and not have fun. That's just dumb. Really, it's just dumb. Oh, and I found this tweet. It was a... I think it was a parody tweet of uh, Ninja's rant about why video games shouldn't be just a game. And uh, it was from a video I watched called uh, Twitter vs. Ninja. And, well, a person who commented that link on Twitter uh, made this uh, statement which says, I like how Ninja stole that tweet from Brother Ninja. What a real ninja. P.S. Here's the link to the OG post. It was supposed to be a shit post about drawing. The phase is just a drawing in such a weak mindset. You are okay with those two right thumbs, portions, imperfection when flipped. When you stop getting angry after drawing, you lost twice. There's always something to learn. And always room for improvement never so. And that's basically that tweet that he was making a parody of to Ninja, but uh, of course he blocked him because it was apparently a stolen tweet made it into something else. Me when people not seeing this as a shit post. And that's what he did. He made a shit post and Ninja didn't see that and just blocked him for it. Then he tweets, guys, please don't bother him over this. I don't mind at all. And the motion of doing it gave me a big cheeky smile. You know the one. Well, at least Twitter user Ross O. Don Donovan has uh, a lot of fun. At least he knows how to have fun, at least. But as for Ninja, who couldn't even take a uh, joke about it, yeah, and that's what happens to that one gamer who thinks everything else differently from everyone else who thinks the same. I mean, I think the same, you think the same, Ninja, not so much. So here's my total advice for all of you here. It's okay to win. It's okay to lose. It's okay to be competitive. But it's also okay to have fun. And most importantly, you need to have good sportsmanship. And if you do not, 
then what's the point? And that's the whole that's the whole point of playing a video game. It's okay to win, it's okay to lose, it's okay to be competitive. But it's also okay to have fun, and it's also okay to have good sportsmanship. Do not be like Ninja who cannot understand the meaning of good sportsmanship and who cannot also understand the meaning of having fun. I mean, if he wants to have fun in the game that he enjoys to play, that he loves to enjoy to play, that he loves to enjoy playing, there it is. And then, maybe, just maybe, he should be, uh, a little bit more uh, happy and be that happy person that actually has fun instead of a happy person who only wants to be happy when he plays competitively. I mean, I know that this is his job now, but he forgot the, the most important thing of all is to have fun and to have good sportsmanship. And that's all that matters. Those two things matter. Actually, those three things. It's also okay to lose. I don't know one gamer on YouTube or on Twitch or on Mixer that doesn't have the courage to have fun and to have good sportsmanship. And losing is part of having a good sportsmanship. And if a ninja doesn't have that, what good of a gamer is he? Think about that. I mean, if you're if you're a ninja supporter, do you agree with him that that Fortnite is not just a game because it's a video game and it's kind of just a video game in my opinion because video games were were not meant to be made as a job in the first place we as gamers made it our job but Fortnite specifically isn't a job it's a game that we all play to have fun and that's more important than being competitive even though we have competitive people out there these days but being being that person who has fun is more important than anything else like seriously i hope if you're watching this tyler ninja blevin said you understand that Being a gamer who has fun is everything. When you play a video game during your childhood, you have fun. And you, you have a good sportsmanship. And that's the whole point of, of playing a video game these days. And that's all that matters, you know. That that's really all that matters is to have fun. It's a, it's okay if you lose, and it's and it's really more important to have good sportsmanship because you can actually learn to grow and improve. And that's all I have to say about that.